Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Have you ever wondered what makes someone silently attractive? In today's video titled How to be silently attractive, 12 socially attractive habits, we will explore how incorporating certain behaviors can significantly enhance your appeal without saying a word. But before we dive into these life-changing habits, can you take a moment to hit the like button if you enjoy our content? Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell so you never miss out on our valuable tips. Now, let's find out how to enhance your silent attractiveness through simple and profound everyday actions. Ready? Let's get started. One good manners. In Islam, good manners are deeply valued and are considered reflective of one's faith and character. The Prophet Muhammad is often cited for his exemplary conduct, which underscores the importance of treating everyone with respect and compassion, regardless of their circumstances. This practice is not just about adhering to religious teachings, it also enhances one's social appeal by naturally attracting people through positive interactions. Respect is a core component of good manners in Islam. It involves treating others with dignity, engaging in polite conversation, and actively listening to what others have to say. This respect is expected to be shown regardless of a person's social status or background, highlighting the Islamic principle of equality among all individuals. Kindness in Islam extends beyond mere politeness and involves genuine acts of service such as helping those in need, offering supportive words, and sharing resources without expecting anything in return. Even small gestures like a sincere smile or a warm greeting can have a significant impact on how people perceive and interact with one another. Additionally, patience is a critical aspect of good manners in Islam. Being patient in challenging situations with difficult people or when things do not go as planned reflects strength of character and self-control, which are highly admired traits. This patience also means not responding to anger with anger, but instead choosing to respond with soft words and forgiveness, which can diffuse conflicts and enhance interpersonal relationships. Overall, the emphasis on good manners in Islam serves not only to guide followers in their daily interactions, but also to build a community where individuals feel valued and respected. This, in turn, contributes to a harmonious social environment where the silent attractiveness of good manners is recognized and appreciated. 2. Listening Skills Active listening is a crucial social skill emphasized in Islamic teachings, and it greatly enhances one's silent attractiveness by showing genuine interest and care in interactions with others. In Islam, listening attentively is considered a form of respect and kindness, reflecting one's good character and patience. It allows individuals to build stronger, more meaningful relationships by truly understanding and responding to the needs and emotions of others. Active listening in Islam goes beyond merely hearing words. It involves engaging fully with another person's conversation without planning a response while they are speaking. It includes giving the speaker your undivided attention acknowledging their feelings and providing feedback that shows you comprehend what they are saying. This type of engagement not only improves communication, but also deepens connections, making others feel valued and respected. This practice is especially beneficial in resolving conflicts and building trust. By listening carefully, one can better understand the underlying issues and emotions in a discussion, which can lead to more effective solutions and mutual understanding. Furthermore, active listening demonstrates empathy, a key Islamic virtue, allowing one to connect with others on a deeper emotional level, which is essential in all forms of relationships, whether personal, professional, or communal. Ultimately, the skill of active listening highlights a person's ability to put aside their own thoughts and concerns temporarily to focus on someone else. This selfless act is attractive because it signifies maturity, wisdom, 
and compassion, qualities highly regarded in Islamic social conduct and appreciated universally. 3. Empathy Empathy, deeply rooted in Islamic teachings, is the ability to understand and share the feelings of others. It enhances one's silent attractiveness by fostering a sense of connection and solidarity with those around us. In Islam, empathy is not only encouraged, but considered a duty, reflecting the compassionate nature of the Prophet Muhammad, who consistently showed deep concern for the well-being of others, regardless of their social status or background. By practicing empathy, individuals are able to see the world from another person's perspective, appreciate their emotions, and react in a considerate manner. This understanding is crucial in building strong, supportive relationships that are based on mutual respect and caring. Empathy involves more than just recognizing others' emotions. It also includes taking actionable steps to alleviate their distress, comfort them in times of need, or share in their joy. Empathy contributes significantly to conflict resolution. Understanding the feelings and motivations behind someone's actions can lead to more compassionate and appropriate responses. It helps in de-escalating tense situations and finding peaceful solutions to disagreements, embodying the Islamic principle of promoting peace and harmony within the community. Moreover, displaying empathy can also influence one's own emotional well-being. Engaging empathetically with others can reduce personal stress and increase feelings of happiness and satisfaction. In a broader sense, empathy strengthens the social fabric by nurturing an environment where people feel understood, valued, and supported. In sum, empathy is a powerful trait that enhances silent attractiveness by enriching interpersonal interactions, helping to cultivate relationships that are deeply rooted in understanding, kindness, and mutual respect. This not only aligns with Islamic values, but also universally enhances human interactions in every sphere of life. 4. Self-confidence Self-confidence is another socially attractive trait that is both encouraged in Islamic teachings and highly valued in interpersonal relationships. It involves having a positive yet realistic perception of oneself and one's abilities. In Islam, self-confidence is viewed not as pride or arrogance, but as a balanced understanding of one's capabilities entrusted by Allah which enables individuals to act decisively and maintain integrity in their actions. Self-confidence allows individuals to approach situations and challenges with a calm and positive demeanor, which can be silently attractive to others. It demonstrates a sense of assurance and reliability that can inspire trust and respect from peers. Confident individuals are often seen as leaders because they can make decisions and express their thoughts clearly and respectfully without being overly assertive or aggressive. Moreover, self-confidence in Islam is linked with trust in Allah, Tawakul, which emphasizes that one should strive to do their best while ultimately relying on God's plan. This spiritual dimension helps believers maintain their confidence, especially in challenging times, by reminding them that they are not alone and that every effort is valued in the sight of Allah. Practicing self-confidence also involves acknowledging one's strengths and weaknesses, which fosters humility, a key Islamic value. A well-balanced self-confidence encourages personal growth and self-improvement as it motivates individuals to enhance their skills and abilities and to contribute positively to their community. In social settings, confident individuals are capable of engaging in meaningful dialogues without dominating the conversation. They respect others' opinions and are comfortable with differences, which makes them approachable and appreciated in diverse groups. Overall, self-confidence enriches one's character and interactions, making it a silently attractive quality that is admired and respected in any social context. It enables individuals to navigate through life with dignity and grace, embodying the Islamic virtues of resilience, humility, and respect for oneself and others. 5. Modesty, modesty or humility is a key principle in Islam that enhances silent attractiveness 
by reflecting a respectful and considerate attitude towards oneself and others. It encompasses behavior, dress and speech, and is rooted in the Islamic belief that one should avoid arrogance or ostentation. Modesty is not only about how one dresses, but also about demeanor and the avoidance of drawing undue attention to oneself. In social interactions, modesty enables individuals to build genuine connections. It allows people to focus more on meaningful conversations and less on superficial appearances. Modest individuals often refrain from boasting about their achievements or abilities, which can foster a more inclusive and comfortable environment for everyone involved. This humility makes others feel valued and respected as it signals a preference for equality and shared respect over personal gain. Moreover, modesty in behavior and communication encourages listening more and speaking less, which can lead to a deeper understanding of others and stronger interpersonal relationships. By prioritizing others' opinions and feelings, modest individuals can create a sense of trust and reliability, which are attractive qualities in any relationship. From an Islamic perspective, modesty is also seen as a form of obedience to Allah. It is a trait that the Prophet Muhammad exemplified and encouraged among his followers. He taught that true humility involves acknowledging one's dependence on Allah and recognizing that all accomplishments are by His grace. This spiritual humility can lead to a calm and content demeanor free from the anxieties of constantly competing or comparing oneself with others. In the broader social context, modesty helps maintain social harmony by discouraging envy and competition. It promotes a culture of appreciation for what one has and compassion for those who have less, fostering a community spirit that values cooperative success over individual triumph. In summary, modesty is a silently attractive trait that not only aligns with Islamic teachings, but also universally enhances social interactions. By practicing modesty, individuals can project a presence that is approachable, respectable, and deeply human, contributing positively to the social fabric and encouraging more meaningful and supportive human connections. 6. Understanding the Power of Words In Islam, much emphasis is placed on the power of words and the importance of speaking with wisdom and kindness. Words have the ability to heal or hurt, build up or break down, and they play a crucial role in shaping our relationships and interactions. The Quran and Hadith are replete with advice on choosing one's words carefully and the virtues of speaking good or keeping silent if no good can be spoken. Using words wisely can significantly enhance one's silent attractiveness by fostering positive communication and reducing conflicts. It involves more than just avoiding harmful speech. It is about using communication to positively influence those around you. This might include offering sincere compliments, expressing gratitude, providing constructive feedback, and conveying honest feelings in a respectful manner. In social settings, the thoughtful use of words can make a person more approachable and respected. People are naturally drawn to individuals who speak kindly and with consideration as these qualities create a safe and welcoming environment. Furthermore, speaking with care reflects self-control and maturity, qualities that are highly regarded in any community. From an Islamic perspective, controlling one's speech is also a form of spiritual discipline. The Prophet Muhammad taught that a Muslim should speak only what is beneficial and avoid engaging in useless talk, gossip or slander. This discipline helps in purifying one's heart and nurturing a spiritually uplifting social atmosphere. Practicing careful speech also involves being mindful of the context in which one speaks, choosing the right moment and ensuring that the words are appropriate for the audience. This sensitivity can prevent misunderstandings and build deeper connections as it shows respect for the feelings and circumstances of others. 
Ultimately, understanding the power of words and using them wisely is an essential social skill that enhances silent attractiveness. It enables an individual to navigate social interactions more effectively, building relationships that are based on mutual respect, understanding, and genuine connection. 7. Dress and Cleanliness In Islamic teachings, attention to cleanliness and appropriate dress is not only a matter of personal hygiene, but also a reflection of one's respect for oneself and others. Dressing neatly and maintaining cleanliness are considered forms of non-verbal communication that can significantly enhance one's silent attractiveness by conveying a sense of dignity, self-respect, and consideration for the comfort of others in social settings. Cleanliness in Islam extends beyond the physical. It encompasses spiritual cleanliness, which involves maintaining purity of body and mind as instructed in Islamic practices such as wudu, ablution, and ghusl, full-body ritual purification. These practices are not only preparations for prayer, but are also meant to encourage a state of mindfulness and respect in everyday life. Dressing appropriately involves choosing attire that is modest, clean, and suitable for different occasions. In Islamic culture, modesty in dress reflects a person's humility and spiritual awareness. It also sends a message of respect and professionalism in public and work settings, fostering an environment where the focus is on one's abilities and character rather than physical appearance. Moreover, dressing neatly and caring for one's appearance can significantly influence how individuals are perceived by others. It can lead to positive first impressions, which are often crucial in professional and social interactions. Neat dressing does not mean extravagant attire. Rather, it emphasizes cleanliness, appropriateness, and simplicity, which are valued highly in many cultures, and particularly in Islam. The focus on cleanliness and appropriate dress also contributes to a healthier environment. It prevents the spread of germs and reflects a communal respect for public spaces and the well-being of others. In social contexts, this attention to hygiene and dress can make interactions more comfortable and enjoyable for everyone involved, thereby enhancing the social bonds among community members. In essence, the Islamic emphasis on dress and cleanliness not only upholds religious values, but also enhances social interactions, making individuals more attractive in a silent yet profound way. It fosters a positive self-image and commands respect from others, which are essential for building strong, healthy relationships. 8. Tolerance Embracing tolerance as a silent yet powerful attribute not only aligns with Islamic values, but also makes one socially attractive by portraying them as wise, mature, and capable of leadership. These qualities are appealing in both personal and professional realms, making individuals who practice tolerance well-respected and often turned to as mediators and leaders. In summary, tolerance is a silently attractive habit that enhances personal interactions and community life. It supports the development of respectful, meaningful relationships and fosters a peaceful, cooperative social environment. In an increasingly interconnected world, the ability to engage tolerantly with others is invaluable and deeply reflective of one's character and spiritual maturity. 9. Personal Development Personal development is a key concept in Islamic teachings, focusing on continuous improvement in all aspects of life, including spiritual, intellectual and social dimensions. This commitment to growth enhances one's silent attractiveness by showing a dedication to self-improvement and a proactive approach to life. In Islam, personal development is seen not only as a way to better oneself, but also as a means to contribute positively to the community and uphold one's duties to Allah. Engaging in personal development involves a lifelong pursuit of knowledge, skills, and virtues. 
This could include religious studies to deepen one's understanding of Islam, acquiring new skills that can help in professional life, or learning about other cultures and philosophies to broaden one's worldview. Such efforts demonstrate an open-mindedness and a readiness to adapt, qualities that are highly regarded in any social setting. Personal development in Islam also emphasizes character building, such as cultivating patience, humility, and generosity. These virtues are not only pleasing in the eyes of Allah, but also make an individual more approachable, trustworthy, and respected in their community. By continually striving to improve these traits, a person can positively influence their relationships and the environment around them. Moreover, personal development includes maintaining physical health and wellness as part of the holistic Islamic view of well-being. Regular exercise, a balanced diet, and mental health care are all part of nurturing one's body and mind, which in turn supports spiritual growth and social interactions. By committing to personal development, individuals signal to others that they are responsible, motivated, and capable of leadership. This can make them silently attractive as friends, partners, colleagues, and community members. It shows they are not static, but are dynamically evolving, always aiming to contribute their best to the world around them. In essence, personal development is about being the best version of oneself. It aligns with the Islamic principle of ikhsan, or striving for excellence in all facets of life. This ongoing process not only fulfills personal aspirations, but also serves the community and adheres to divine commands, making it a deeply attractive trait both socially and spiritually. 10. Responsibility and Determination In Islam, being responsible and showing determination are highly valued traits that significantly enhance a person's silent attractiveness. These qualities demonstrate a commitment to personal integrity and accountability, which are essential in building trust and respect in social interactions. Responsibility in Islamic teachings is often associated with fulfilling one's duties to Allah, oneself, and the community. This encompasses a wide range of behaviors, from performing religious obligations diligently to taking care of one's family and participating actively in community service. Being responsible means being reliable, which is a trait that naturally attracts others because it creates a sense of security and trust. Determination is closely linked to responsibility. It involves the drive and perseverance to achieve goals, especially in the face of adversity. In Islam, determination is seen as a reflection of one's faith in Allah's plan and one's commitment to striving for the best outcome with the abilities and opportunities provided by Allah. This steadfastness is crucial not only in achieving personal goals, but also in overcoming challenges and contributing positively to the community. 11. Generosity Generosity is a key virtue in Islam, often reflecting one's faith and spiritual depth. It enhances silent attractiveness by demonstrating an individual's willingness to give selflessly, whether it's sharing wealth, knowledge, or time with others. This trait resonates deeply within the Islamic tradition, where acts of giving are considered a fundamental expression of worship and a direct way to purify one's wealth and soul. In Islamic teachings, generosity is not limited to financial aid. It also encompasses being generous with one's time, effort, and care. It involves helping those in need, volunteering in community services, and offering support and comfort to friends and family. The Prophet Muhammad emphasized that even a smile is a form of charity. Thus, the scope of generosity can be broad, impacting various aspects of daily interactions and relationships. Generosity naturally attracts people because it creates a sense of warmth and safety around those who practice it. People are drawn to individuals who are kind-hearted and giving as these qualities foster trust and admiration. 
In a community setting, generous individuals often build strong networks of relationships characterized by mutual support and gratitude. 12. Prayer and Spirituality Prayer and spirituality hold a central place in Islamic teachings and significantly enhance one's silent attractiveness by reflecting a deep sense of peace, purpose, and connection to a higher power. These aspects are crucial for personal grounding and portray a person as centered and serene, qualities that naturally attract others. In Islam, prayer, salah, is not just a ritual obligation, it is a way to communicate with Allah, seek guidance, and find comfort in times of distress. Regular prayer helps to discipline the mind and body, bringing structure to the day and fostering a sense of responsibility and punctuality. It also serves as a reminder of one's values and the importance of humility before God. Spirituality in Islam involves more than just performing religious rites. It encompasses an ongoing journey of self-improvement and seeking closeness to Allah. This pursuit is often characterized by activities such as reading and reflecting on the Quran, engaging in dhikr, remembrance of Allah, and seeking knowledge that deepens understanding of the faith. These practices enhance one's inner life, contributing to a calm and reflective demeanor that is deeply attractive. Moreover, a strong spiritual life often translates into ethical behavior and compassion towards others, as one's actions are guided by a sense of accountability to Allah. This moral integrity makes a person trustworthy and respected in their community. It also leads to actions that benefit others, such as charity and advocacy for justice, which are fundamental aspects of being a good Muslim. Spirituality also affects how individuals cope with life's challenges. A spiritually grounded person is often more resilient and optimistic, drawing strength from their faith during tough times. This resilience can be a source of inspiration and support to others, enhancing one's social influence and attractiveness. In summary, the silent attractiveness of prayer and spirituality lies in the profound inner peace and moral integrity they foster. These qualities not only make individuals appealing, but also bring about positive changes in their relationships and communities, aligning them closely with the core values and teachings of Islam. Thank you so much for watching our video on how to be silently attractive, 12 socially attractive habits. I hope you found these insights helpful and that they inspire you to cultivate these qualities in your daily life. Remember, true attractiveness stems from your actions and demeanor, not just your words. If you enjoyed this video and learned something new, please give us a thumbs up and share it with friends who might also benefit from these tips. Your support means the world to us. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell if you haven't already, so you can stay updated with all our latest content. Do you have any other habits in mind that contribute to being silently attractive? Please share your thoughts in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Until next time, keep striving to be the best version of yourself. Take care and goodbye.